Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. The Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS, has disclosed that 90% of the electricity delivered to Riverton City in St. Andrew is stolen. The company has also noted with alarm that the consumption pattern of non-paying users is at an excessive level, over 600 kilowatt hours per day. That's more than 100 times the average paying customer. Now, JPS says this high level of theft has also led to several outages in the community. JPS has 160 customers in the community of over 1,000 households. The company noted that when non-customers make multiple illegal connections, indiscriminately running a variety of appliances, some heavy duty as well, these multiple breaches result in the system being overloaded, resulting in outages. The company has also lost transformers and has had circuits burnt due to overloading. JPS has invited residents to become regularized. Now, the Bank of Jamaica has achieved a 94% success rate in terms of keeping inflation within its target of between 4 to 6%. Now, BOJ Governor Richard Biles noted that during the past 36 months leading up to October 2020, inflation has surpassed the upper limit of the target on only two occasions. Mr. Baez highlighted that the reason for inflation going above target on those two occasions was largely related to temporary increases in agriculture prices. He says this was because of droughts or floods, and these prices retreated after those events, pulling inflation down with it. And the Bank of Jamaica Act 20, Amendment Act rather, 2020 was approved in the Senate on Friday. The amendments are aimed at modernizing and strengthening the operations of the central bank by improving its governance. The bill gives the central bank autonomy and independence in law in the implementation of monetary policy. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $144.81. The Canadian dollar sold for $111.83. The pound closed at $192.04, while the euro is going for $175.97. The JSE index lost 6,331 points today, and the junior market index is up 5 points. Among the winners were KLE Group, Siboney Group, 138 Student Living, Palace Amusement, and Everything Fresh. Now on the losing side were 1834 Investments, Paramount Trading, Epley Caribbean Property Fund, Scotia Group, and Stationery and Office Supplies. And that's the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.